man, that whole group of like 200 people within 10 seconds, they got off the train there and like there's not a soul to be found anywhere. They are gone. All I did is stop and take a few videos and pictures and I'm all alone. And here we go. The first steps. Smell so many different flowers, fragrances. Oh my God! It's it's got to be like 80 degrees already. Had all that stuff with the 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 weather weather in uh, Iceland, and of course, in the mornings here, once you get over the Pyrenees, it's gonna be cold probably, but. Oh, it's, it's about 2 o'clock, 2.15, and it's already scorching. So, it's, it's going to be a Camino. So, we'll see. I've got the, I've got the summer clothes, you know, the, the wicking t-shirts and the, all that stuff. So, we'll see how that goes. But, man, I've been going uphill. <laughs> Just getting into the town. So, apparently, everything's uphill until you get to the ocean. Yep. So here we go, finding the hostel somewhere around here. Hmm. Okay, as you're coming up the hill there, the train station's down there where the, the fog is at the end of the road where that white truck's turning. But that's where the train station is. So as you walk up the hill here, it's a pretty straight shot. And you'll start to see more and more indications that you're on the path, you know, the, the right path. Or, so you'll see the little people walking there and then just as you're coming up in a town here, you'll see the actual Camino symbol. Now I'd recommend, I'm staying here like three days, four days to, you know, just get acclimated and rest up and walk around this beautiful city. And right past that little sign as you're going into town, there's an ATM right there. And you'll recognize this old looking building here. I'm sure that'll still be looking the same. This is the year 2023, but I'm sure that'll be the same. Then right around the corner, up there where that truck's parked, you cross the street to the pilgrim's office. That'll be next. Okay, so we walk up the hill a little bit there. We'll come around the corner. And this will be the pretty much the main drag of the city here. You see the citadel walls. So you cross the street and you'll see the Camino sign. Simply go up and you can get into the, you can get into these, behind these walled city, you can get in behind the citadel anyway, but just soon go left right here and get in through the main the main little archway here that's so cool and then there at the end it looks like a dead ends that's actually the, another street i'll show you and that's where you main all the little shops and uh albergues and hostels and all that stuff are now as you're going up here if you look behind you where you came through that archway there's uh, stairs that go up and you can walk the whole edge along the city on that citadel wall <laughs> it is pretty cool to do really really nice uh nice view and you can imagine back in the day standing guard up there so as you come to the end here from that archway you see the Camino sign up there but you go to the right and you actually go down to the main beginning of the Camino. 
And if you go left, you go up here to the pilgrim's office. You'll notice the uh, doorways all have a number assigned to them. So that's nice. You can just follow along until you get to where you want to go. If you have a hotel or a hostel or other day. And here is the little shop that literally has everything you could possibly want if you had to leave your hiking poles behind, etc., for the airplane. They've got everything here. I'm already out of breath again from walking up here. Yeah, it's steep the whole way. Everything's uphill, apparently. You don't go downhill until you hit the coast of Spain. So you're looking for 39. So if you look up here, as you're getting to the crest of the little hill, you'll see 39. Pretty obvious if you look up high. And if you go past it, you'll have that um, empty lot here. So this is the pilgrim's office. You're Thank you.